Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gregory Gage and this is month three, the catch up of my hair transplant. I skipped out the second month one because not really a huge amount changed. I was in the dormant phase, so not really much was going on with the, with the hair growth. Um, but we are now just coming up to three months since I had the procedure done. And there is change, so you can see the difference right now, which is great. I love it. I mean, it's going well. Uh, and yeah, let's just, let's, let's, like, let's jump in. So if you're new to my channel, feel free to hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. I am going to be uploading more regularly with the hair transplant updates from now on because changes are beginning to be seen. So it's, 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 it's an exciting time if you're interested in, in hair transplants or getting hair transplants done or getting one done. So first things first, I'll do a really brief recap if you haven't seen my previous videos. I went to Vinci Hair Clinic on Harley Street and that's where I had my procedure done. It took uh, about eight hours in total, so it was just a one day procedure. I spent the morning getting all, uh, the injections on the back of my head and then having them take out all of the grafts and then spent the afternoon lying on my back and they were making the incisions to where the hair was gonna go and then implanting each of the grafts into the, the incisions that they made on my forehead. So you can see that right now. Um, that's what's going on there. Um, and then the week after, the first week after was horrific in terms of sleeping and swelling. Swelling was huge. It, was, it wasn't uncomfortable, it just looked horrific. So you'll see that my face is massive in these pictures. And it just gradually like traveled down my head. And that was just the anesthetic from the the transplant moving slowly down my head. The back of my head has now healed up as well, completely fine. So it's at a point where you wouldn't even know that I've actually had it done, which is a huge change to how it was originally. These pictures coming up are quite gross, so if you are squeamish or squirmish or whatever you wanna call it, then look away. As you can see here, this is where it was red raw. It was very fresh, that's where it's been shaved really short and then the hair has all been plucked out of it um and this is just after craig has taken off the the bandage at the back but yeah it cleaned up it healed up well it didn't scab too badly at the back um and it's 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 all completely healed now so it's been healed for a while but it's like completely healed so completely different to how it was when you first saw it after the surgery but yeah that doesn't it doesn't take too long for the back to clean up and get back to normal. That's pretty much it for the back. If you've got any questions at all, please do feel free to ask me in the comments below. I will answer all of the questions. Um, or if you wanna message me privately, you can always do that on my Instagram page. The handle is down here or down here. The handle is down here somewhere. Um, yeah, message me. I'm more than happy to reply to, to everyone that asks me any questions if you'd rather stay anonymous. So I got it done in London. Loads of people get it done in Turkey, but get it done wherever you want to get it done. For me, it cost me less than £5,000 to get it done. So for all the people that are asking me how much I paid, I'm not going to tell you how much I paid, but it was less than £5,000, but more than it would be if I went to if I went to Turkey. It's cheaper if you like go away and get it done, but I wanted to get it done on Harley Street in London. I live in London you know, and I got it done in a pandemic. Couldn't really travel anywhere. So yeah, that's pretty much that situation. I had 2,500 grafts taken from the back and put into the front. Each graft has got like two to three hair follicles in it. So even though at the moment it's just like baby hairs that are coming through, it will be thicker and it will continue to grow and it will just, it will, it will grow thicker. So I'm very excited to see the final finished look. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the recap of where we've been. Um, I got to choose my own hairline, so they kept trying to like move it up higher, but I was very specific with how I wanted it. I wanted it pretty straight, but not like, not like dead straight, because the way I style my hair is quite specific. I'll use the hair straighteners to like curl my fringe so it goes up, and then so the hair like swoops down and then goes up. So the hairline would literally start from, 
a little bit higher than this. So, uh, it starts like here. So it's like a natural hairline, but it's like a straight hairline. Anyway, so the latest pictures that I've got, I can show you that I've taken of my hair. It's easier to just take pictures and then explain the picture because I can't see what I'm doing if I'm trying to film my forehead and it just doesn't work. So, pictures. This one, as you can see, there are bits of hair that are like kind of long and they've, at the end of them, they've got the original grafted hair. So they have just started to grow straight away as they are. They haven't like, fallen out or anything. Most of the, the hair shafts that were transplanted fell out and that makes way for the new growth. But there are ones where it's just started to grow straight from the hair shaft. So there's like a little bit where you can like see the, the tip of the hair is the original transplanted hair and then it's got the new baby growth on the end of it. So that's what those long bits of hair are. But there is a lot of new growth and that is what I'm really excited about because it's really beginning to to take shape and you can really see that there is hair growing there for the first time <laughs> so it's really exciting and I hope you're as excited as I am because I'm, I'm literally it, it's making me so happy just talking about this hair that is growing on my head three months from now I'm going to have a checkup with the uh, the surgeon at Vinci Hair Clinic um, for my six month checkup that everything should be on track and going fine because I've been quite good with the time scales of what is expected but through the 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 second month really nothing changed so if you are worried about that if you're in your second month and you can't really see much changing at all that's perfectly normal it's the it is the dormant stage so nothing is really going to be changing very much but it's when you get to your third month that's when things start to like take shape and you really start to notice it so if you have got your hair transplant done and you're worried in the second month, don't worry. I worried. I didn't mean, I didn't need to worry, but I worried anyway. So don't worry. It will be fine. It will grow. It just takes a while for it to, to like push through the skin. And as you will see from these pictures, there is quite a lot of red pimpliness that you can see in that new hair growth. And that is literally just the new hair trying to break through the skin. So don't pick it, let it just do its thing. I've even got a couple of like really, really curly hairs where it's it's like curled up underneath the skin and then it's finally broken through the skin and it's literally just like a little coil, tiny little coil of hair. Yeah, you don't pick it. Don't like, literally don't pick it. They aren't spots, they are ingrown hairs and you should not pick them out because it can risk the hair follicle. So don't don't do that. Just 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 let it come out naturally. Massage it lightly when you're in the shower, and that is that's it. Just 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 keep going, nice and soft and smooth on the on the on the hair, and it will be fine. I'm hair drying my hair properly now. I am styling my hair how I want again. I'm not even going to tell you how long it took me to do my hair today because it's an embarrassing amount of time that it took. But. I got it done and I'm happy with it. So yeah, if I go outside and the wind blows, that's a different story because it's, it's literally just gonna go like that and the whole head of hair will move up. But there you go, you can see where the hairline is gonna be when it finally grows through, but it is growing nicely. I'm very excited. See, this is why I take pictures because doing this, I can't see what I'm filming. I got no idea if it's focused. I don't know, I've got no idea. So hopefully that's focused. If it's not, I'm sorry. But yeah, it is It is very exciting times. I can't wait for it to grow more and I will probably see you next month. I will see you in, I will see you monthly from now on. So if you wanna stay up to date with the, the hair transplant process, then yes, monthly. I will, from today, start taking like progress pictures again every day so you can see the growth as it, as it grows. So yes. Very exciting stuff. I hope you're having a great day. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're getting your hair transplant done, or if you're thinking about getting it done, or if you have been and you're on your the same journey as me, let me know in the comments down below. And I will see you really soon. So thanks for watching and goodbye. Why is it now not doing what I wanted to do? I've moved it around too much, that's why.
hair is so frustrating.